Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to remain optimistic uh, mm -hmm. that you and Senator Tim Scott and Senator Cory Booker are going to come together and come out with an agreement at some point before 2022. Um, but once you do, what role um, would you want President Biden to play in getting that bill passed? Well, you know, the White House has been very supportive. Uh, they have not been directly involved in negotiations and believed that we could manage it on our own. And I believe that that's the case. What I would like to see President Biden do after he signs the bill is to push to make sure that the bill is fully implemented, but then to say, okay, now what's next? What more do we need to do? And I think that President Obama and Vice President Biden laid a great roadmap with the 21st Century Commission on Policing. I'd like to see them convene another commission to uh, one, look back at those recommendations because now you know that was over 10 years ago, but also to say what more needs to be done. There is fresh momentum for change in our country to look at systemic racism. And anytime you have a president who in his inauguration speech talks about racial equity, white supremacy, and then issues executive orders within the first few days of his administration over racial equity, I think that again, President Biden could take the lead in saying, okay, this is a good first step. Now, where else do we need to go?